So that's it for the lesson and the update on 2.4. So again, really cool stuff. Uh, snapshots are now active in 2.4. They are fast due to being just in-memory metadata operations. Uh, there's no performance penalty for having a lot of snaps and no performance penalty for accessing the snaps. So we saw how to use that in the UI and then you just map them over the host just like you would any other volume. Data at rest encryption. A lot of people have been asking for this and now we have it. The only gotcha is if you have an existing 10 terabyte brick and you want to turn this on, uh, it's unsupported. I have no idea if EMC will help you out on that, but uh, if you're planning on expanding the cluster or it's a significant need, I would ask. Uh, it would be a drive swap, but it may be worth your time if you needed it. And if you bought your bricks after the 2.4 release, even a 10 terabyte, it should now support the data at rest encryption. But again, uh, just my disclaimer, if you buy a 10 terabyte, 10 terabyte brick, you might want to confirm that. iSCSI, so we now get jumbo frames. We can now do a slightly painful but uh, workable uh, change for TCP ports, and we can also use CHAP for authentication. RESTful API. This is uh, actually a fairly common request. REST API is a common method for automating and accessing information on infrastructure and infrastructure type services. So it's good to see this. This will open up Extreme I.O. into a lot of automation tools, as well as to custom written tools and dashboards and things like that, that many organizations use. Again, if you're interested in this, go grab the API or the RESTful API guide from support.emc.com. Resize volumes. A simple things are sometimes the nice things, and here's one of those as an example. We can now expand the size of a volume without disruption to the data. So if, again, you want to move something from 1 terabyte to 2 terabyte or 5 to 10 or whatever, you can just do that right in the UI on the fly without much trouble or fuss. And then finally, AIX support. Maybe not the most exciting thing, but if you do have AIX in your environment, it can be very important. So now AIX is fully supported, and you'll be able to use it as of 2.4. So that's it for the lesson and the course. Again, I hope you appreciated it, and feel free to reach out and let me know if you have any questions or comments. And uh, I think we'll continue to see Extreme IO uh, evolve, so I wouldn't be surprised to maybe see some add-on modules to this course later as some of the major software revisions start to hit and some of the fundamental things start to change. But we've been very impressed with the product. It's very fast, and I think as you've seen from the course, it's very easy to use. So again, thank you, and thank you for your time.